Oh, I'll just, uh, let's see, new game, City Skylines. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, these look nice. Um, no, let's try a tricky one. Oh, that'll do. Nice. Oh, uh, left hand traffic. Let's just give it a name. And lovely. And here we go. That's pretty quick. Oh. Uh, Oh, it's, oh, there we go. It's moving. It's mo. Oh, oh, no, it's it's stuck. Ah, oh, stuff this. I'm gonna tab out and see what other people have got up to. Uh, let's see now. Um, yep, and uh, cities, skylines, rail, go. How to train? Oh, that's good. How to trains? This should be pretty good. There's a station. Nice little. St Whoa! What's that ramp? Why is it doing that? What's why are you crossing the river at the skew like that? Oh, that's not how that works. Oh, the, the ramp again. Oh, crikey, it's a launch pad. Why is there a kink in there? Oh, God, where, where, where's this going? What's, what's this do? No, no. Oh, why did you do that? Oh, I'm waving it. Okay, okay. Oh, what is that? Ah, oh, Sips, why have you made the turnout bypass the station? Not be the platform. Oh, dear, Sips. Why don't you put that curve next to the tunnel? Why don't you use the tunnel? Why don't level crossings? No, 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 not like that, no, no, no. Uh. Fuck. For those of you unfamiliar with City Skylines, it's a city simulator game, just like the old SimCity 2000, except for the modern age. What you can see in the background just now is uh, one of my work in progress sort of cities that I was hoping to use in some form of railway education tool in the future, but we might come back there. For now, I'd like to do two things. Firstly, use City Skylines as a bit of a tool to teach permanent way and wider railway concepts. And secondly, for those of you who actually play City Skylines, maybe help you make your railway layouts look a bit more realistic. So what exactly is the permanent way? The permanent way refers to the fixed infrastructure that makes the railway a railway rather than a road. That includes the track, so rails, sleepers, the ballast underneath. It also includes the formation, so that's the earthworks underneath the track. It includes point work, so that's switches and crossings. It includes, arguably, the overhead line equipment as well that powers trains. The permanent way is so-called because when they were building railways back in the olden days, they used to build a temporary railway called the temporary way. This would be used to kind of move materials back and forth. Once construction was finished, they'd get rid of this temporary track and replace it with the final track materials that trains could run on, and this was called the permanent way. Why do I call myself a permanent way engineer, not a track engineer? That's because there's more to permanent way engineering than just the track. And actually, I think that's what this series is going to be all about. So why are the railways so energy efficient? Well, it's because of the contact patch between the wheel and the rail, the strength of steel and friction. Because of the strength of steel, the size of the contact patch is very small, which means friction is very low. It's as simple as that, really. I will go into more detail in another video that I'll post somewhere else on maglev. That's coming soon, keep your eyes peeled. So which different types of permanent way has City Skylines actually modelled? Well, there are a few actually. So first off, you have uh, tram lines. You can see some nice embedded rails there. Um, these tram lines are running out on their own, but also they can run along roads and dual carriageways. There's a nice tram, lovely. Next up, we have metro rails. So you can see there some nice concrete sleepers with the rails laid on top, and it kind of looks like it's powered by some form of DC traction. And lastly, we've got, in terms of permanent way, we have just conventional railways. Uh, you can have either passenger or freight trains running on these tracks. You can see they're powered with uh, overhead electrification, we're going to call it AC for now. And it looks, kind of looks like it's wooden sleepers and the ballast doesn't look like it's up to much, but we'll kind of, we'll let that pass. It's worth pointing out that throughout this series I'm just going to use the vanilla version of City Skylines uh, plus DLC. So I'm not going to use any mods um, other than perhaps unlocking the 25 tiles at the start. I'm just going to very quickly use City Skylines to talk about the history of land transport. 
until about 10,000 BC, we didn't really travel much other than over water, uh, you know, rivers, the sea. From about 10,000 BC up until Neolithic times, we had, there were some long distance paths, we traveled over land, but there was certainly nothing substantial. By Neolithic times, better roads had started being developed. And of course, we know that you know, a couple of thousand years later, the Romans started developing roads far better. But even so, proper surface roads that you or I might be familiar with didn't really start appearing until the turnpikes, though about the 1700s. Tarmac Adam turned up in about 1902, and we started seeing dual carriageways and motorways appearing through the rest of the 20th century up until today. Early plateways started appearing in the 1780s, but the railways as we can have recognised them today really appeared with the stops in Darlington in 1825. In terms of trams, the first tramway appeared in 1804, um, and we started seeing them used on roads and in towns quite frequently. Light rapid transit, as we might recognise it as a system, uh, started appearing in America from the 1970s onwards. From 1832 you had the modern cable car, again this is nicely modelled in city skylines, and from 1863 you started having the first metro railway lines, and of course that was the London Underground, the Metropolitan Line that pioneered that type of operation. Lastly, from about 1888 we started seeing monorails appear. Uh, monorails are a type of gadget van, uh, they're rubbish and have very limited use, and I'll probably talk about those in the gadget van series that you might see appearing fairly soon. So there they are, that's the various types of land transport as modelled by city skylines. Um, and as you can see, all the development happened in a very short space of time. And for a long time before that, there wasn't really much land transport at all. And that's it for the first episode. Uh, these are going to be short and snappy, they're going to come out on Fridays, and I will see you next time. Cheerio!